Good morning. Hi, friends in the Color Club. It is Thursday, and I'm getting ready to hop on a call at 9, but I wanted to pull a card first before the day got away from me and share it with you. And I'm all mixed up this week because of the holiday on Monday, so it feels like it should be Wednesday, but it's Thursday. I don't know. But anyway, I'm shuffling the cards, so let's pull a color card. Um, the secret language of color cards. You guys know color is my jam. I love it. I love to read color. Um, I like to look at how color influences our lives in a lot of different ways, not just in, um, in art, but in what we wear and what we put in our homes. And um, we're always communicating to people. We're communicating to ourselves. We're communicating to each other. We are always communicating with color, and I think it's just really incredible and fun. And I've always loved color since I was little. Um, and so my friend Marcy told me about the Secret Language of Color cards, which is by somebody named Inna Siegel, and she wrote a book called The Secret Language of the Body, which is awesome, um, and it tells you uh, what the so like spiritual or emotional um, aspect of illness or pain is in the body, which is really cool. So a big component of these cards is also like um, a healing component, right? Like looking at how you can use color to better your life um, and improve your health and wellness and well-being. And it all is attached to a spirituality component. Um, and so anyway, I wanted to give you a little bit, a little bit more background on the color cards and why I love them so much. So let's pull a card for today and we'll see what we get. I'm wearing, um, it's like a navy blue. Uh, with stripes, so everything has symbolism and meaning. Navy blue is attached to the third eye. Um, the third eye is the kind of the source of our intuition. It is our inner knowing. It is um, like tapping into just the wisdom, our innate wisdom. And so I'm wearing that today. So I'm ministering to my third eye. I'm trying to to tell myself tune into your intuition, tap into that, um, use it more. And the stripes are, they mean surrender. So surrender to your intuition, like just let go and go, you know, let go and let God, um, my friend Kendra would say, get in God's canoe and like gently down the stream. So that's what I'm working on today. Um, and the color that I pulled is ruby, which is interesting. We've had red another time this week. It says rejuvenate your body and it's number eight. So I'm gonna look up number eight. Um, Red is the color of the root chakra. The root chakra is the first um, chakra of the physical body. It keeps us connected to the earth. It is the source of our um, safety, our sense of security, our sense of belonging to family and tribe. Um, there's a very protective nature to the root. Um, and sometimes you'll hear somebody say like, oh, they have a root issue, meaning that they don't feel safe and secure. They don't feel um, confident in their um, uh, like their financial stability, that sort of thing. So red is interesting for, for us today, especially because I'm working on my upper chakras, but I also need to be grounded in the red. So ruby. It says ruby is a color of dynamism, rejuvenation, and strength, increasing your stamina and filling you up with energy and an enthusiasm for life. Enthusiasm for life. It is a color for prosperity, courage, achievement, and motivation. I like that. That's good. Ruby also encourages shy people to come out of their shell by building confidence. Use Ruby light to feel a lot, truly alive and dynamic. So then it has a little exercise for how you can use Ruby. So it says shake your right hand for 30 seconds, then rest it for 15 seconds. Shake your left hand for 30 seconds, then rest it for 15 seconds. Then shake your whole body for 30 seconds. You're really like getting everything moving in there. And then rest it for 15 seconds and repeat these three steps three times. The number three is a divine number. Um, uh, in the in the Holy Trinity, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Um, now rub the palms of your hands together for 40 seconds. This is interesting. There's a lot of symbolism in here. This exercise helps to warm, awaken, and rejuvenate your body. Visualize ruby light moving through your body. So you're visualizing ruby light coming in through your body, cleansing your blood and stimulating your energy. Become aware of what it is like to tr feel truly alive. Oh, I love that's a goodie. You might even decide to wear a ruby pendant or hold a ruby crystal to strengthen your body and motivate you for success. So I do believe that this card is um, intentional today. Say, divine healing intelligence, please release all pain, stress, and tiredness and infuse my body with healing, rejuvenating, revitalizing energy. 
I love that. That's a goodie. That's the ruby and that beautiful ruby red. So the card has this gorgeous, like highly faceted ruby on it. I love it. Um, the number eight on the card is also symbolic. Eight is a number of abundance. So that's kind of cool too. Um, symbolism is everywhere. Color is everywhere. Art is everywhere. Um, I love it. I can't get enough of it, honestly. I feel like I look for meaning in everything um, and find it most times, which is really cool. So I hope you enjoy the color of the day today. I can't see if there are any comments because I'm on my phone. So if you have commented, I will uh, reply after I go off the live. If you have any questions or you want me to pull a card specifically for you or for a particular reason, I think it'd be really fun. Again, it's the secret language of the color cards. You can get these yourself on Amazon. It's by Inna Siegel. Pretty cool. Well, um, I hope that you have a wonderful day. I hope that you have a very happy, revitalizing, rejuvenating, um, high energy day. And I will talk to you soon. Bye everybody.